So we know how to print, right? Do we know how to take inputs from standard input? So we are not like discussed that, right? Like just like we have scanner in C, we have something in Python also. So we haven't thought we haven't thought that because we are still working on interpreter. We are not yet gone to actually taking inputs from user. Right? So we'll just see how to take inputs. So, raw input, raw underscore input is one of the uh, method, inbuilt method where you can take inputs from user. Okay? So, raw input take string value as an input. Okay? So, so you are seeing codes here. Right? So, make sure if you are doing any integer passing or integer calculation, convert it into integer, then do it. Because raw input always takes place. So if you want to take only integer, you have another input. <coughs> so this will actually take only integer input. Okay? So you have two methods in Python to actually get the values from a user. One is raw underscore input and another is input. So this is just for information. We will not work anything on this on this problem. This is for just for information. Okay. Shall we do some problem on split? We know how to do split, right? So shall we do a problem on split? So the problem here is you have to implement the extension sort. So my input will be a list which has the different file names as extension a.c, x.py, r.txt and foo.txt. Okay? So you have to sort this list based on the extension. So you can make use of the, of the split. Yeah. So so you can use split and key. Yes.
the last uh, problem in strings. Then we'll go into files and dictionaries. Okay. So if you complete this, that's it. In strings.
get a brief touch uh, upon how file operation works in Python. So Python has an inbuilt function open. So open actually opens a file that is input. Okay. So foo.txt is a file. Okay. So it needs to open foo.txt. So the second parameter it takes is the access mode. If foo.txt doesn't exist, it creates. What? If foo.txt doesn't exist, does it create it? No. Does. Foo.txt doesn't exist. So it doesn't create. Foo.txt doesn't exist, right? But content.txt exists. I created that. So it opened a file. So content.txt is available on my directory. So it opened. Foo.txt is not available. So you got a IO error. It says no such file. Right? That's how you have to debug. So if you see this help, right, you will you'll be actually knowing what it does, right? Let's say you are not aware of this, okay? You have been given only F. So if you print F, you will come to know that F has actually opened a file in a read mode. It goes 
So if you want to actually traverse in a loop, you can use f dot read line. Okay? So you can put for line in f, f dot read line. It will actually traverse by a line. So, so you need not do f dot read. So f dot, f dot read is a disadvantage. So you, you can use f dot read line. Okay? So, F is my object, so it is, now it is closed, okay? So, F can actually take new lines, it can read a line, it can read the content of a file, it can actually read the line, it can actually do read lines. So, what is read lines? Can anyone guess what is read lines? Okay, all the lines. Okay, so it will print. What it will return? It will return a list. So it will return a list. Okay. Thank you. 
So using list comprehension, can you filter out all even numbers? Okay, using list comprehension. Can okay, you do that? Yes, can you do that? So one hint is you can use if in this this coverage. <laughs> Come down to the demands 
any we can come all the all the three days and enjoy the python programming uh, so we welcome you python india so i just show you the link Yes. 